after I recorded some of these videos on uh, embroidery stitches for crazy quilters that I really should have spent some a little bit of time talking about needles and thread. So here is an array of the various needles that are mostly used in embroidery types of um, applications. We start with tapestry needles over here and then embroidery needles, darners, and cruel needles. Now I'm going to move over here to the actual needles themselves. This needle, and I've got to find my spot here, is a tapestry needle and you'll notice as I do this this has a blunt basically a blunt point I'm not running this into my finger I could if I did it strongly enough but I'm not hurting my thumb by doing that because it has a blunt end on it they are useful for stitching through canvas um, that is needlepoint canvas and they're used a lot in needlepoint. They're also good for some parts of these stitches if you're doing parts that involve um, putting extra stuff on a particular stitch, uh, weaving through the stitch with a second color or that sort of thing. The tapestry needle is very useful because it doesn't tend to slide into the fabric and it doesn't tend to um, make problems with your thread. So that's a tapestry needle. It's fairly short. The next one is an embroidery needle. And you notice that all of these have a fairly large eye on them. Let me see if I can put it down and make it better. This is a fairly narrow needle. This is a smaller size needle. And this does have a sharp point, so you can see as I push it onto the fabric, it goes through very easily. Whereas the tapestry needle tends not to go into the fabric. Okay, an embroidery needle is good for this sort of thing. It has, for, the, for these kinds of stitches, it has a sharp point. It's moderate in size, so it's fairly easy to handle. Okay, the next one is, this is a cotton darner. There are also yarn darners, which are much thicker. This one has a less of an eye, not, not so big an eye. Let's see if I can get it where you can see the eye. So the eye is not so big on this one. And it also has a sharp point on it. This is good, it's a little bit little bit longer so if you're doing something where you need the extra length that's a good one and this is a cruel needle cruel cruel is normally done with a woolen thread so it also has a big eye it also has a sharp point and it has um, it's a little this is a little bit thicker needle and it's a good it's a good needle to use when we talk about threads for embroidery, there are two main types. One is floss, which comes in a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, most of the floss is either cotton or silk. If it's, it's cotton, it's usually six strands uh, put together, and it usually comes in a hank. Um, And the other is pearl cotton uh, or other types of cotton like it. This usually, well, can come in a hank or a ball depending on which size it is. This is size 12 pearl cotton. That's the narrowest, the smallest, thinnest. The next one up would be uh, number 8 pearl. Then you get 5, which comes in a hank, and 3, which comes in a hank. 5 and 3 are Five is moderately thick, three is very thick, and for the type of thing we're doing, you're probably going to find that they are too thick to use. 
There are also a lot of specialty threads and there are um, silk ribbons, which we'll show. I'll show later some of the silk ribbon embroidery techniques as well. Um, but these are the main sorts of threads that you would do. Um, pearl cotton comes from a number of different companies, comes in lots and lots of different colors. Uh, your local quilt store probably has some either 8 or 12 or some of each in the pearl cotton. If you want to go to a needlework store, um, also places like AC Moore, you can find the embroidery floss. And in a needlework store, you could come, you could find silk floss. Silk floss usually is either six or seven strands uh, and very pretty, but a little on the expensive side. Also doesn't necessarily wash well. So if you're planning to have a piece that you're going to wash a lot you might not want to use that but then again typically you don't wash crazy quilts that often so this is just a little orientation to needles and threads mm -hmm. 